Okay, so we're at our second screencast here to get you started uh, right away for full introduction to philosophy, philosophy 111.004, spring 21. Okay, so as I indicated, here on our announcements page is where you'll find uh, what we'll be doing throughout uh, the weeks, okay? Uh, and uh, Right now, we will, uh, we're planning to have a Zoom meeting on January 19th, and I'm wanting you to answer these questions. So know that in order to answer these questions, you have to look at the assignment here, okay? Uh, and so this assignment comes with a reading. Thinking of what I'm going to do is organize this so that the reading is here up front uh, so that you don't miss it. But it is in the assignment folder for now. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to organize this getting off the top, but uh, we'll continue. Okay. And so also know too that that little schedule <clears throat> is here under the course materials and content tab. Once you hit the content tab, as you saw in the first screencast, I we talked about the syllabus, and then there's week, week one right here, and there's that schedule again, okay? So know that we will have a discussion for the first week and an assignment that will be due on January 26th, Tuesday, January 26th, because this is a Tuesday class, and so that will also be when we Zoom as well, uh, on Tuesdays, that is. So we'll meet on January 19th, getting ready to work on January 26th when work is due, okay? And that's the way this will work. We'll pivot on uh, Tuesday uh, as uh, our, our uh, focal point for the week, okay? So again, you are to uh, work on this discussion and the assignment, which are both due on January 26th at 11.30 p.m., okay? So with the discussion, let's go ahead and click on that. Let me make sure that I'm out of professor mode here. Click it over to student view so you see it how you would see it. Let's go ahead and, well, we could use this too. So click on discussion. <clears throat> okay, so you'll come to this know that the way you work it through here is you click on this little guy right up here okay right here is where you'll start the thread but to read what the discussion prompt is you click on that and see there you have it and so with our first discussion i want you to a introduce yourself to the class and what brings you to this class specifically b what is the policy on computer tech problems as noted in the syllabus. C, what is our late work policy? Uh, D, what is plagiarism? E, what questions, uh, feedback, comments do you have on the class, policies, grading, assignments, as we are getting going, okay? Uh, so this is one way to ask questions. You could also ask questions in our Zoom meeting. Likewise, you could also just simply email me as well, okay? Oh, and by the way, before I forget, this little box right here is our email. In D2L, it's referred to as internal messaging, but uh, I refer to it as email. So this is our email. And so to email me, for example, you would click on course materials, go to that little drop down menu. Here you find class list, click on the class list. You'll notice that you could email your other classmates, okay? But you could also email me. I'm right here. Hit that little arrow, send internal message. That's how you email me. So remember, you will, you will never email me to submit work. You will always just submit work in, especially if it's late work, obviously. Um, <clears throat> you will, you will only submit the work in, uh, the, the file that it is late for. Okay, so never, never just email me work because I'll just send you back an email telling me, telling you to <clears throat> submit it in the proper file. Okay, uh, so that's the how you email.
get back here, go down here, click on discussion again. So discussion list here. Okay, so <clears throat> then, uh, okay, so we were here on E and then F. Then also you're submitting a 200 word answer for questions in our assignment folder on January 26th. So you must complete this discussion right here and the assignment in order to receive a grade for both parts. So this is due the 26th, as is the assignment. So in order to do this part, you want to work on these answers. Then click on this guy right here like that. And you'll get back to what we were just looking at. So start a new thread. That's how you'll do it. So start a new thread, fill in the subject line, and get, get to work answering those questions in complete sentences. Okay, Make sure that you are writing in complete sentences. Then <clears throat> I had you go into uh, assignment. So you could go, there's many ways you could go about this. One is obviously you could click on this. Okay, that'll take you there. There's the assignment. Okay, but also, so let's go back to the home page. Also, you could always click on these two activities. Here you'll see assignments that'll take you to where we just were, discussions, etc. Then quizzes too is where we'll be taking our midterm exams and our final our midterm exam and our final exam. Okay? So let's go back to the assignments. So click on that guy. What is metaphysics? Click on that. Okay. In a minimum of 200 words, offer an understanding of A, what is metaphysics in general, B, and also what is metaphysics specifically by one away, by way of one of its subcategories. How is metaphysics categorial? So here's a video of me talking about what is metaphysics. I want you to read this, all of this, okay? And remember that you're also reading this before you Zoom as well, before our Zooming meeting. Then you work on it, uh, you know, uh, after you look at it, after you've uh, read this and then looked at these questions, and then you will submit the file here, okay? And then you click Submit, and I believe you get an email telling you that your work has been submitted okay now <clears throat> let's go back here notice too this is where i have my i uh, ran this so that i could just show you so i uh posted a mock file here what is metaphysics answering that so my file is right here so this is what your page would look like when you're looking at the assignments that you've turned in Okay, and you've added a submission, okay, and then this is where you'll see the grade, okay, and then here, this is one of the most important parts here, feedback. Notice here it is indicating unread. That means I haven't read the feedback that I left for myself. In other words, you need to read the feedback I leave, okay? Why? Because that's how we progress in this class is I offer you feedback, and if uh, there's problems with the uh, work, then that feedback will tell you what the problems are. And so if, uh, the, if you do, are not listening to that feedback, you won't be able to improve to help you with uh, our short essays that we'll be working on. There's three of those through the semester. And then also by way of our uh, midterm, our mid, uh, uh, our midterm uh, exam and our final exams, okay? So this feedback is critically important, okay? And then what you'll do is you'll click on this right here, open feedback. And I don't know if you could see it, but it loaded this little uh, file here. I'm gonna click on that little file click to view, play it, and that's where you'll get my audio feedback. This is how I lead feedback. Uh, 
okay, so there you hear me, so you want to listen to that whole thing in order to get a proper uh, accounting of my uh, feedback. That is critical, okay? Be and not only that, I can also tell, as the professor, whether or not you've read that feedback, okay? Or listen to that feedback. Uh, notice that it has, it's now reading as read, okay? And so that will also be on my end as well. In other words, I can tell if students read these and uh, know that um, this is an important way in which we move forward through this class. Okay, so then um, that means that, oh, and then I think I indicated too that this grade will also be an accounting for whether or not you did that discussion as well. So I will not grade or comment on the discussion. I will only comment when I send you feedback in that little uh, file that you'll look at in the assignment folder, okay? So I think that's enough to get started. Did I indicate to you that Probably in the future, I'll have the reading accompanying this as well. And know, too, that that reading you should have read before our Zoom meeting, because we'll be discussing these two questions in our Zoom meeting. Okay? So I think that that's a good start. And obviously, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, etc., don't hesitate to let me know in our discussion area here at the beginning so and or uh, by way of email etc okay so uh, thank you class and uh, talk to you later